Item Number SCP-7520 Security Level 2 Containment Class Euclid Disruption Class Vlam Risk Class Warning Assigned Site Site 400 Site Director Director Adam Desmond Research Head Not Applicable Assigned Task Force Not Applicable Special Containment Procedures With Approval from Site 400 Site Director Dr. Curran has been granted permission to continue his long-term employment with the Foundation. However, he is to wear a specialized safety helmet at all times, including during sleep and personal washroom hours. Manifested garden hoes are to be collected and transported to Aquamanic Abatement Facility, AAFY, for proper thermal treatment. Description SCP-7520 is a designation given to an as of yet unknown anomaly currently affecting Senior Researcher Jackson Curran. Division Head of Site 400's Department of Anomalous Communications and Relations. Every day, during completely random intervals between 1 a.m. to 12 a.m., 5 to 10 identical metal garden holes possessing wooden handles would manifest approximately 1 meter above Dr. Cohen's head. These garden holes display no outward anomalous properties other than their sudden manifestation. Adenum 7521 the Nominautical Overview Or though the exact time in which SCP-7520 manifested itself is uncertain, the first known incident showcasing its properties occurred on the 8th of June 2018 during an event celebrating Site 400's 100th year anniversary, which was held at the Multipurpose Cafeteria. Foundation personnel present during the incident reported that the anomaly manifested right after Dr. Curran entered the cafeteria and called out a phrase that was described by multiple individuals as offensive, inconsiderate, disrespectful, derogatory, and immensely misogynistic. The following is a video transcript of the incident, captured via a surveillance camera implemented in the cafeteria. Video Log 7521 Begin Log which shows the cafeteria being adorned with a number of party-related decorations, including rainbow-colored ribbons and strings, with multiple colorful balloons tied to each corner of the room. Eight lunch tables are placed together in the center of the cafeteria, with a moderately-sized half-in chocolate cake situated between them. Other types of foodstuff, snacks, and liquid refreshments are also present. Multiple Foundation personnel can be seen happily socializing with one another, with a majority of them holding plastic plates containing sliced cake. A large white banner is hung between the walls of the cafeteria with the words, Happy 100-400, printed upon it in golden font. The double doors to the cafeteria suddenly burst open as Dr. Curran as Dr. Curran and two other male individuals following him closely behind enter. The three of them can be seen smiling and giggling among each other, before Dr. Curran laughs out loud and nods toward one of the individuals. He proceeds to walk to the center of the cafeteria and faces all of the other Foundation personnel present. All right. <clears throat> Where the hoes at? Ten garden hose appear above Dr. Curran and falls, hitting him on both his shoulder and head. He cries out in surprise as he is overwhelmed by the number of hoes resting on top of him. Multiple gasps are heard from sight staff as Dr. Curran groans in pain. The two individuals from before lift up Dr. Curran to his feet and attempt to drag him away from the hose. End log. Dr. Curran suffered a mild concussion and minor lacerations on his back and forehead. After he was nursed back to health, he was brought to Site 400's Human Resources Department and was given a stern warning to not repeat the above action, along with two weeks suspension from Foundation duties. Despite the occurrence of this event, the Site 400's 100th year anniversary celebration proceeded as normal.